What's up guys, welcome back to another vlog, BKS Auto, you know what to do. Uh, this can be a short video, but I need to have some content for you guys. Today we picked up the strut bar from Bulletproof finally, his polisher took a while. Uh, I dropped off the rear Brembos as well. I was installing them as you can see back here, but turns out for the 06, 07, 2.5 eyes we need a custom bracket. Because the, they don't bolt right up like the fronts did, so I got to order that bracket. So I might as well have them paint match to the front ones that he did for me a while back. But let me show you guys the strap. So here it is right here. Let's open it up. If you guys have seen the old strap bar before, you, you see that they're real rusted and scratched up. So his guy polished it up for me. Nice and shiny. It's the GT spec style. And then I had him match my Perrin uh, alternator cover for the end pieces on the strut bar. To be wrinkle red. Nice job. These were originally a blue. I'll show you guys before and after pictures at the end of the video. But let's go ahead and install them. Alright, so let's pop the hood and let's get this strut bar installed. See, this is what it's going to be matching. That's why I had them do the wrinkle red. And then I wanted it repolished because my intake is still fairly new, so it's nice and polished up. I just got to clean it, obviously, but now it'll look better. So let's get to it. Let's find out what those are. I believe they're 12. Hopefully this fits. If not, I have deep 12s. Let me get some deep 12s. So we're just going to move them. Set them where you know they won't get lost or they won't fall. Let's do the other side. Alright, now let's get the board. Alright, so if you're like me and you don't remember if these go this way or, you know, the other way, just uh, set them down and you'll find out which side goes which. There we go. And then I'll set this up here because we got to put the hardware on, but let me put the... Strut bracket on, and that's gonna be our right side. So this this strut bar, as you can see, was a little tricky for me, but I made it work, and you guys will see how. All right, so I got the bar fitted right here. Now let's put the hardware through, so we can make sure the bar is exactly where we want it to be. There we go. Gotta get the washer. And the nut on that side, just like that. And we obviously tighten it after we tighten the tower supports. Let's go to the other side. This was the tricky side for me. I think I just tucked it under right there and pushed it through. I had to lift it a little bit, force that bolt through, and we're in the clear. Now, be very careful, you do not want to drop your hardware back here because then you are screwed. And we're on. Alright, so let's put these bolts on now. And we'll tighten everything up right now. This one you gotta push right here. Again, this is the GT spec for the 2002-2007 Subaru Impressives. May also fit Foresters and stuff, but I have no clue. Push down right here. And we're in business. Alright, let's tighten that down. So we got all the tools. This is all you need. It's a 12 for the top three. Um, this one's a T50 since I don't have the Allen and it works just fine. And a 17 for the back nut right there. So let's tighten it all down. First these. Hit it again with 
your highest setting. Basically torquing it down. Same with this side. Tighten this first. Torque it down on the last setting. Alright. And then these bad boys can go in the gun. Just gotta hold that nut back there. Make sure you have a couple threads on it first because you do not want that to drop. That's it, you don't gotta hit that one too tight. As long as you get some feel, see that's nice and snug. Same with the other side. Remember, get your first couple threads started. Make sure you do not loosen it. I think we're good right there. Just like that guys, we're done. This is a finished product. Huge shout out to my boy Bulletproof. Got it exactly how I wanted. The polish looks perfect. So now, this is what the engine bay looks like. Nice and clean, everything matches. When I get some, uh, when I get the rear strap bar, I'm gonna do the exact same thing. And then the under sway bars, I wanna get um, wrinkle red as well, so. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys learned a little something if you're installing your strap bars at home. Peace.